Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and welcome to part 2 of our XUnit with Selenium video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about how we can move this code that we have written in our earlier video in XUnit with Selenium to a separate fixture class which can be used as a context injection of XUnit. So XUnit has got a very powerful context injection option. So if you just go to this XUnit itself on the GitHub, they have got uh, the Xunit project home and within this project home there are a bit of documentation which talks about what is called as sharing context between tests. So this is something very very important to understand because within Xunit as you can see there, is, there are something called as constructors and dispose which is used for shared setup code within sharing object instances which is what we are going to be doing for the driver object instance sharing and then they have something called as sharing object instance across tests in a single class which can be done using class fixtures and they have something called as collection fixtures which is shared object instances across multiple test classes so these are the three important concepts that we need to understand within the x unit and the one that we are going to see this time is going to be the constructor and the dispose method so the constructor is something that we have already seen like how we can create a constructor but we have to dispose the object that we are creating for example the unit test one where we have created the chrome driver object but we have not really disposed the chrome driver which is by quitting the browser by freeing up the memory that the browser has used we never did that so this dispose comes quite handy to do that for us and at the same time this is helpful while we need to uh, perform a setup and clean up after the test execution is done so this is something that we should be worrying about and then we'll talk about the class fixtures and how we could able to use the class fixtures to perform the action and how the collection is helpful to run the test in serials and stuff i mean collection is something that we'll talk later in this course but as of now let's focus on the constructor and dispose operation so for doing that i'm going to create what is called as a fixture uh, so i'm going to create a new class and i'm going to call this as web driver fixture and within this fixture i'm actually going to make this as public and i'm going to call the i disposable over here so once i have this i disposable you can see that it's going to give me a error something like a scrolly line which says the web driver fixture does not implement the interface method dispose so let's do that control dot so it says implement interface and i'm going to implement the dispose but it is again not implemented so it's going to throw you a not implemented exception but what are we going to implement uh like what are we going to dispose here in first place the first thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a constructor and as i told you we are going to be creating a constructor and dispose operation. So the constructor is going to basically hold what is called as our uh, Chrome uh, driver itself, which we actually used uh, within our test in our earlier video. So what is this? I mean, how we can use this guy? So pretty much like how we wrote the code over here. I'm just going to cut this particular code and then I'm going to paste it over here. And this particular Chrome driver is going to be the Chrome driver, uh, probably. Let's create a property. I'm going to call this as public Chrome driver of the Chrome driver. And then I'm going to do a getter. And I'm going to do a private setter so that nobody else can actually set uh, the Chrome driver itself. And let's include the driver manager control dot and then chrome config control dot uh, now we have the chrome driver which is a bit of capital letter because it's public uh, so now we have the chrome driver in place and as i told you we need to quit the driver so that we can uh, free up the memory space which has been used by the chrome itself which we can do in the dispose method so we're going to call this as chrome driver dot dispose quite intelligent the intelligence of visual Studio 2022 is suggesting us and we're gonna say chrome driver dot quit so probably we need to do a quit and then we need to do a dispose because if you do dispose and then quit it is not gonna work so let's do this fashion cool so now we have this web driver fixture so where are we gonna use this particular web driver fixture is the next question 
So before I actually move further or proceed anything with the uh, with the fixture itself, let me just revert the code change that we have made on this unit test onecs file. And I'm gonna just rename this particular file so that we can have it for the reference purpose within our GitHub repo. So I'm gonna call this as uh, without uh, probably selenium without uh, context. And I'm going to rename this file as well and the class name and I'm going to create a new class file and let's call this as selenium with uh, context and we're going to start working with this particular class file. So in order to use the fixture that we have created, I'm going to use what is called as the I class fixture. So this IE class fixture, and you can see that it automatically tells me that I need to use the uh, Selenium fixture, but for some reason it is not. Uh, so let's call this as the web driver uh, fixture over here. And this I class fixture is gonna be something coming from the X unit itself. So this is what we will be using for our test over here. So this I class fixture, as I told in the documentation over here, uh, is going to be one which is responsible for creating a single test context and share among all the tests in that particular class files and have it cleaned up after all the tests in the class have finished executing the test. So this is something which you can achieve using what is called as an iDisposable that we already did. And we also created a constructor and we also created a dispose method. Uh, and we have a property pretty much like how it's uh, mentioned over here on this particular documentation. So this is exactly what we are trying to do over here as well. With this particular test, we have this I class fixture and the fixture that we have created, just nothing but the web driver fixture. We are going to start writing the code within our test. So it's going to copy this code that we have written. I'm just going to cheat that I'm going to be um, writing the same code again. I'm going to paste it over here and i'm gonna get rid of this line and we also need the test uh, output helper probably i'm just gonna uh, create a constructor and let's do that and i'm gonna add create and assign a property not assign the property probably as in a field uh, and then I'm gonna use that particular stuff over here and for the Chrome driver as you can see over here instead of the Chrome driver that we created in earlier test using this particular uh, fashion uh, we are going to be using the Chrome driver that we have within the web driver fixture so how do we call this is gonna be using the Chrome driver fixture as you would imagine but in order to use that particular Chrome driver we need to actually call the uh, web driver fixture that we have actually created within this particular uh, uh, fixture over here which is nothing but this one right so in order to do that i'm actually going to call the web driver fixture of the web driver fixture and i'm going to create and assign a field which is nothing but this one and with that in place, we can just call the web driver fixture dot Chrome driver of navigate something like this. So if you do this one, you could see that we have a very, very clean state of code right now. We have a driver fixture, which has the web Chrome driver, uh, and we are going to call the particular Chrome driver property, and then we can navigate to that particular URL. Very simple. I mean, we can do even more further refactoring, but I'm just going to stop for now with this particular basic uh, code that we have written so this is all right and we could do something like this which is going to be even more better to read the code like what we are writing so let's quickly run this code and see if this code really works so this is going to be with the context test that we are running so it has opened the browser and once it runs opens the browser it also closes the browser this is how the dispose method is being called for us over here so these are all automatically happening based on the IE class fixture that we have created, which is cool. And now let's rename this code and let's call this as uh, class fixture test, something like this uh, to navigate. And I'm also going to write a few more methods where we are going to navigate to the application and then perform certain actions uh, on the application. And then we'll see how we could able to 
enter certain data and how those data can be modified and entered within the XUnit tests using what is called as theories, which we'll be discussing in our next video.